Have you ever pondered why the end game in chess holds such significance? Why does it command such respect and attention from players around the world? Today, we delve into the heart of this fascinating subject, the end game in chess and its profound importance. Imagine the chess board as a battlefield. The opening game, often compared to the initial strategies of war, involves positioning your pieces for the upcoming struggle. The middle game is the heart of the battle, where tactics and strategy intertwine, and the outcome of the war starts taking shape. Yet, it is the end game that determines the victor, the final, decisive moments where every move can signal victory or defeat. Contrary to popular belief, the end game is not merely the closing chapter of a chess match. It is an intricate, complex stage that demands a different set of skills and understanding from players. It's here that the true mastery of the game is often revealed, with the remaining pieces taking on monumental importance. In the end game, every move carries a weight of consequence that can drastically shift the balance of power. It's a battle of nerves and mind, a delicate dance of strategy and counter-strategy. Kings, once passive figures in the early stages, step into the limelight, becoming active and crucial elements of the game. Pawns, often underestimated, can dramatically alter the course of the game, potentially promoting to any piece if they reach the opponent's side of the board. While the opening game and middle game hold their own importance, the end game stands apart. It's not just about having more pieces on the board, it's about utilizing them effectively, understanding their potential, and executing strategies with precision. It's here that the game transcends the physical board, becoming a mental challenge, a testament to the player's strategic prowess and foresight. The end game in chess requires a deep understanding of piece value, positioning, and patience. It's a stage where the game slows down, yet the tension escalates. The margin for error shrinks, and each decision, each move can be the difference between a triumphant win or a crushing defeat. In summary, the end game in chess is not just the conclusion of a match. It is a pivotal phase that can turn the tide of the game, a stage that tests the player's knowledge, strategy, and resilience. It demands a different set of skills, a deeper understanding of the game's nuances, and a precise execution of strategy. The end game is where champions are made, where every move counts, and where the true essence of chess is laid bare. It's a stage of the game that often separates the good players from the great, and understanding its importance is key to mastering the beautiful, complex game of chess. So the next time you find yourself in the end game, remember its significance. It's not just the final moves, it's the culmination of strategy, patience, and skill. It's where every decision matters, where every move can change the outcome, and where the real game of chess truly begins.